Tauruses! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from today, August 14th to August 21st. Hey Taurus! Really happy to see you guys again. Um, so for those who are new to my channel, I don't do personal readings and I always go over my, med my meditative session, excuse me, before I get into the reading and then we go ahead and do the reading. If you have any questions or curiosities or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, please check out the link below. A lot of questions can be answered there. Okay, Taurus. I had some really interesting energy come up for you. Uh, the first thing I actually saw, I don't really, really know what those are called. Um, it's kind of like a dreidel, but it's not a dreidel because dreidels, you know, obviously very specific. Um, spinner, like, it, <laughs> you know, spinner. Uh, um, it's kind of like, uh, okay, so it's an upside down cone and then it has like a little thing on the top and you like, you spin it and you just watch it spin until it falls. There's this energy, Taurus, that you've been watching a situation. And keep in mind, guys, energy I pick up in a meditative session is energy in and around you. So it could pertain to you directly or someone connected to you. But there's this energy of, of watching a situation, watching, 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 in major suspension. Is it going to fall? Is it going to happen? Is it going to end? Is it going to progress? Is it going to move? This energy of major stagnation, but waiting with heavy, <coughs> excuse me, with heavy anticipation. So Taurus, you know, this could be energy about, you know, waiting to hear about getting a job, you know, waiting to get that call back, waiting to get the call or the email that says, hey, you're hired or, you know, waiting to hear back from someone, waiting to get news on maybe a test or um, a medical, you know, medical results. It's this energy of anticipation and thinking very heavily about a situation. It's about to fall, Taurus, whatever this is, it's about to fall. You're about to get your answer. You're about to take motion on it things are about to sh things are about to shift things are about to move in whatever situation there's been a lot of anticipation or suspense in okay which is very indicative of the energy that we're in <clears throat> excuse me they also drew my attention to tides which i thought was really cool i won't go and nerdy about it because i really can um but this you know the concept of high tide low tide water receding water coming in you know and the ebb and flow of it all and it's like it's such a beautiful kind of concept and of course ebb and flow is a very naturally occurring thing when it comes to energy and anything in nature i have this energy that someone's understanding ebb and flow like someone's understanding that things will recede and things will come your way things will get pulled back and the things will come back you know and we did just have jupiter go direct which means everything that's been halted by jupiter retrograde is now coming in right we've had the ebb 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 and now it's the flow and we're just with uranus right now we're in retrograde for uranus now we're ebbing with uranus and then eventually we'll go back to the flow right there's an ebb and flow to everything someone's realizing this and i have and oh okay whoever is recognizing this pattern and understanding this pattern in nature and accepting this when it comes to relationships just life in general I think this person's had a lot of resistance to that and I think just because there was a lack of understanding of that well mm -hmm. no they know ebb and flow they just resisted until they realized oh you can't resist what's natural you can't you can't resist natural tug and pull on energy and relationships because that is a naturally occurring thing you can't fight that that's natural thank you that's naturally occurring so they knew they knew of it right they knew of it this is a very aware person it's just they have this energy of resistance and control needing to control um taurus there's also an energy of taking charge i feel like you or someone you're connected to is about to take charge in a situation very similar to the things are starting to move right this is all about ebb and flow apparently for you guys things are about to move in the right direction here someone is going to take action i definitely have this energy someone is actually going to make a move of some kind a very physical very very physical kind of action physical kind of movement i feel like for some people who are in this energy there's been this long battle of fear to do that, almost like, um, like you know, like that full card energy, but shadowy, like really afraid to take that leap of faith, really afraid to take that first step, really afraid to just kind of jump in and see what happens. Um, okay, for some in that group, oh, oh, I don't like this. Well, I guess it's good that, okay, I guess it's, it's okay because this is being worked through. There's almost an energy of self-hatred in regards to that. 
for some I'm picking up an energy of self-hatred that's being worked through like not liking that about yourself again this could be someone you're connected to Taurus um not liking that about themselves and which is forcing them to work through it because they, they don't want fear to hold them back anymore which is beautiful that's beautiful I really like that um Oh, for for others, I'm also getting this energy. This is another group I'm picking up, like subgroup within that group of working through fear. Someone I think has always been very triggery, very triggery, maybe even a little unpredictable, a little volatile, lashes out a lot. And I think they always chopped it up to anger issues or like, I'm just a passionate person, but deep down they're realizing it's because they're actually afraid. And then, oh yeah, and then in comes that self-hatred energy, shame, and shame with that. But working through that to finally take the steps needed that they want to take. Okay, Taurus, really interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. Uh, like I said, guys, if you have any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, please check out the link below, okay? Okay. Any messages for Taurus? Oh, keep in mind, Uranus is retrograding in Taurus, more of that ebb and flow that you guys are probably feeling. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? Oh, they just showed me a hermit crab. Oh, that was cute. Um, can we go with a cancer? You could have that in your chart. That was really interesting. That was really cute. Uh, Taurians who are going through this acceptance of ebb and flow, because I, you know, I feel like most of you guys who watch me are very well aware of ebb and flow and you don't fight it. Um, so this could be more likely someone you're connected to. Uh, <clears throat> uh, having to be in hermit mode, having to be in hermit mode. Some are just going into it because they just are realizing this issue. Some are coming out of it because they've been working through this issue leading up to these shifts of direct and retrogrades, okay? But it's really good. It's it's really healing, actually. It's really healing. I really, really like it. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? Any messages for Taurus regarding love from now until August 21st? Oh, okay. Very quick, Taurus. Wow. <laughs> Seven of Wands in reverse. What did I say? It's like this resistance, right? No longer here. No longer wanting to resist. Um, against ebb and flow. Balance. Oh my God, I love it. Seven of Wands in reverse. Leo energy, justice, leap, excuse me, Libra energy. This putting down the wands, putting down the guard, putting down the defenses, no longer fighting, no longer resisting is allowing major balance to come in here, Taurus. I really like it. I feel like justice is acting as balance more so than anything. Oh, well, it is what's right. Okay, is what the right guys are telling me. Well, it is justice. It is what needs to happen. Okay. Okay. This person, whoever this is, Taurus, whether it's you or someone you're connecting with, it's like a major sigh of relief. This has been needing to happen for a while, and I feel like whoever's in this energy of finally doing this for themselves, they're just like, why didn't I do this sooner? <laughs> I have so much more peace in my life. I have so much more calm. Like, just if I, you know, why didn't I just surrender? Is that what I'm getting? Why didn't I just, like, give into this? Why didn't I just give into this? Interesting. Oh, my. Got a lot of cards here. Oh, it's funny I said full card. Now I got the full card out here. So Queen of Wands, Aries energy could also be fire or water. With the Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarian energy. Seven of Swords, oh Lord. Full in reverse, Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus card. And then we have the Six of Swords, more Aquarius energy. All the Aquarian Minor Arcana cards came out. <laughs> All of them, all three of them. The Five, the Six, and the Seven. This is really interesting. Um. So there's a feminine energy here. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I see what's going on here. I feel like there was a masculine energy who was working through their fear and who was very much defensive and having that resistance against what's natural. And it's all about what's naturally occurring, which is interesting. Not just ebb and flow, but also what's naturally occurring and like finally stopping the fight, finally letting go of that and not being defensive is bringing in balance to this masculine energy. And when I say masculine energy, it can also be a female. It's just they're, they're a masculine dominant, okay? Masculine dominant. And it's exactly what was needed. It's exactly what, in the right time, time. They're being drawn to the wheel of, oh, that's so funny. I didn't realize that. That's actually the wheel of fortune image on the wheel of fortune card in this deck. Um, 
bringing in justice, bringing in balance, it's what's right and it needed to happen. And it's about time that it's happened. It's about time that it's happened. All regarding a Queen of Wands energy, uh, feminine energy, someone who is considered to be very attractive in this masculine's eyes, very attractive, very magnetic. Um, oh, I just heard very beautiful. I actually like, I, I like, I heard like a masculine's voice say that. That was really, that was like really, they said it so sweet. <laughs> they said it so sweet. Um, mm. There's something about this person's mind. Oh, okay. Taurus, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, there's a telepathic connection here with this feminine energy and the masculine energy. And there is something about this feminine's mind that this masculine energy really likes fascinating is actually what i just got they're fascinated oh a little bit like a puzzle okay a little bit like an enigma it's almost like this energy of when they think they have this feminine figured out they're caught off guard or they're caught by surprise like something else keeps surprising them like ugh, i thought i had it okay let me go back to the drawing board who is this person really how does their brain really work and then it's like Okay, maybe they're just like this. Oh, no, no, they're not. They're not like that. It's like almost keeping this masculine energy on their toes a lot. It's really cute, actually. Doris, I'm really liking this. However, what I'm not liking, what I'm not liking is this five of swords, seven of swords, full in reverse, and then six of swords. I feel like this queen, whoever this queen is, Taurus, you are the person you're connecting with. This is interesting because I feel like there has been a history here of, of sabotage because of resistance and defensiveness from this masculine energy. And this queen kind of feels a little, a little on edge about the whole situation is what I'm getting, a little on edge. They're, they're protecting themselves also. Some, are, some if you're this queen of wands energy, you're, you're protecting yourself energetically. Also, you can be an Aries, Tori, and Cusper. Um, protecting energetically against this, the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords, because this is active. This is very active with these cards in this position, but I feel like this is something that's already happened. Ooh, queens, be careful. I think you're reliving some stuff. Some queens are reliving some of this sabotagery. Uh, I'm just, for the queens, I'm almost, I'm almost getting this energy of like, they're just difficult. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's like the way that some of you are feeling about it, because some of you are actually talking to me, they're just difficult, is kind of how you feel about this masculine energy. And I, I, I'm not saying you're wrong, because clearly they've been very defensive and they've been very, very resistant, very, very resistant. And if the, the masculine energy is in that Taurian kind of energy, or that's the Taurus that you're inquiring about, um, you know, I love you, Taurus. I love you. I love you. But you know, you're the bull. <laughs> It's hard to move you, right? Um, and when your mind is set, your mind is set. And so if there's a masculine energy who's been like Taurian or Taurus energy uh, in resistance mode, defensive mode, it, it could be difficult. <laughs> it could be difficult. I think this queen is also kind of like, mm, I think they're just going to trick me again. Or I think they're just going to be deceptive again. Or I think they're just going to resist, 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 resist. I feel like sabotage here was more self-sabotage. I feel like it was more self-sabotage, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. Self-sabotage on the part of the masculine energy. We're going to clarify the seven of wands in reverse. I'm like, I can feel it. It feels very masculine. Very, very masculine. And this queen is like, yeah, I'm nah, nah. like, yeah, I don't know about you. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. How do I know that you're really just... How do I know you're really putting down your defenses? This is interesting. How do I know that you're really putting down your defenses? This queen is very mistrusting of this masculine energy. Very, very mistrusting. This queen's also had some history with some not so awesome people, is what I'm getting. People who also were very like, dis who were, dis okay, who were deceitful. I don't, I don't feel this masculine energy was intentionally deceitful, like maniacally deceitful. And what I mean by that is it feels like self-sabotage. It feels like this person is just defensive and resistance out of their own fear, right? That we were picking up on in the pre-shuffle. And so the queen got the brunt of that and it felt like this. It felt very defeating. It felt very defeating. It felt very much like, why do I try? Why do I even try? There's no, there's no talk. Oh God, there's no talking to you. Oh guys. Okay. Anyway, let's move ahead. Let's move ahead. But this queen has definitely been um, down, you know, down the road quite a bit with people 
in that similar energy but i feel like this queen has experienced more actually deceitful people who like lied intentionally oh stolen stolen intentionally i don't know what that's about stolen cheated like actively intentionally deceived well i feel like this king is just in fear mode and de defensive fighting fighting resisting what's naturally occurring interesting and then we have the full in reverse and then the six of swords this is fear to move forward this is fear to have peace in the situation and progress in the situation and it's so interesting you see there's a masculine energy there and a feminine energy there um masculine is guiding okay masculine is guiding uh feminine energies you might be approached by this masculine energy because i feel like this masculine energy is guiding for some reason like guide they keep telling me guiding oh they're they're going to be taking charge they're going to be taking charge but yeah this queen is like i don't know <laughs> this queen needs some convincing and it's almost like a mirroring effect because i feel like this queen is 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 also carrying fear about moving forward but i know this king this the, sorry i call him king this masculine energy has had fear of situations like this has had fear and resistance and now that's dissipated but now that they're coming out of fear this queen's now entering fear okay all right uh, very interesting let's see what else we get aye, aye, aye. any other messages for taurus regarding love from now until august 21st any messages for taurus regarding love from now until august 21st yeah, queens, just make sure you're not reliving some of this stuff that you've been through or some of the resistance you've felt from this masculine energy. Just make sure you're not doing that. Think of a peak, girl. Hold on a second. Because you don't want to invite more of that energy in your life. Okay, yeah, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. The Eight of Cups always leads to the Ten of Cups. Finding the happy place, right? Leaving behind the bad emotions that don't serve you anymore. The bad events that don't happen. That, that don't happen anymore. <laughs> don't let it happen right don't keep thinking about it don't invite this energy back in the bad events that left you emotionally upset that don't serve you anymore that's what this full moon energy is all about and clearly my queens and masculine energies both of you want happiness you both do who doesn't want happiness but the fear that this masculine energy has been carrying has dissip dissipated so now this masculine energy is not fighting anymore but now this queen is entering fear because of mistrust okay but either way, there's an analyzation of the situation here going on. I love this Eight of Cups because this is like a paused Eight of Cups in this deck specifically. It's like before I move ahead, let me look at this. Before I move ahead, let's revisit this a little bit. I like that energy though, especially for this situation. Overall energy, two of wands in reverse, Aries energy. A decision's got to be made here. It will be made is what they're telling me. It will be made. It will be made. And I feel like once there's a looking at the situation yeah once there's a looking at the situation and no longer reliving reliving what's happened queens i think this fear of moving forward will dissipate and like i said and a decision will be made all right so let's go ahead and get into this now that we're like 20 minutes in um i'm really curious about the seven of wands in reverse so let's take a peek um yeah we'll do rider wait for this one Play about seven of wands in reverse for Taurus. Play out seven of wands in reverse for Taurus from now until August 21st. Let's see what we got here. We've got first card out. Ooh. Sun in reverse, Leo energy. Okay. Yeah, illumination. Illumination. Uh God. Also, sorry, I'm like, I don't mean to roll my eyes. <laughs> Didn't mean to roll my eyes. This masculine energy has been fighting happiness, which is like really unfortunate. Yeah, it's definitely self-sabotaging behavior. Definitely self-sabotaging behavior. Trying to let the light in. Trying to let happiness in. Realizing it was, re <laughs> realizing all it took was just to let defenses down and to just, just stop. To just stop. To just stop and just let things flow through you. Let it come to you. Let it penetrate your life. Wow. I'm feeling a lot of regret on this masculine energy side. Play on Seven of Wands in reverse for Taurus. I also keep hearing Aries, by the way. Play on Seven of Wands in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love from now until August 21st.
I'm getting something with this queen. My queens, I think one of the reasons this masculine energy was fighting so much, you might have reminded them a lot about some of their past partners that have really hurt them. And not like, not reminded them in a bad way, just reminded them. It's like, you know, the things that they were attracted to in you, they've, they've seen before. They've seen before. All right, I think that's just a little part of it for some of you. Just something I was picking up. Hermit. <laughs> Little hermit crabs. I'm sorry. That was so cute when they showed that to me. Uh, Virgo energy. Virgo energy. Hermit always follows the star. Hermit always follows happiness. Hermit always follows healing. The light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, this masculine energy, like I said, had to go into hermit mode a little bit to figure this out. To figure this out, um, to work through their fear. To work through their fear. Tell me about seven of wands in reverse for Taurus. I keep hearing Aries. It's making me crazy. Tell me about seven of wands in reverse for Taurus regarding love from now until August 21st. 2007 of Wands in reverse. Let's see here. Wow. Ha! What did I say? A king. Six of Cups. This is a lot of Scorpionic energy, by the way. I just have to say all these three cards are Scorpionic energy. Every single one. Six of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Past life, soulmate, karmic energy, king of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy, could also be water or air, and then death in reverse, Scorpio energy. This person has seriously gone through a major transformation in this hermit mode, or will be, you know, again, we all work through energy differently. Some people are just entering hermit mode, some are coming out of it, okay? So just keep that in mind for your situation. But yeah, this masculine energy, definitely this is all about emotion i feel a little ooh, a little bit of a per not a little it's a big it's a big a big big emotional purge here on the part of this masculine energy and with death in reverse this is this is really experiencing a rebirthing process regarding that regarding that uh this masculine energy has had the queen on their mind for quite a bit there could be a long history here not necessarily but with this i just feel a lot of emotion to be honest oh oh gosh this masculine energy, I, I, they're showing me like hugs. They're showing me hugs. Oh, uh, this masculine energy in their resistance, in their defensiveness, they don't really show their warm fuzzy side very much. Like this person just wants to hold the queen is what I'm getting. Like just hold, like I just want to hold, <laughs> like I'm getting, I just want to hold the queen. Um, there is going to be an approach. Like I said, I can feel it. This king will, will approach this queen at some point in time. Okay, after this rebirthing process, after this major healing process, after getting over fear, right? Because King of Cups in reverse, that's someone who is emotionally detached or emotionally manipulative, someone who's not really in control of their emotions because they're not used to emotions or they've never learned how to master their emotions. This person's been running from their emotions is what I'm getting. That resistance, that fear. Get away. No, no, no. <laughs> this person's taken a while to realize that emotions are very natural and that emotions aren't bad. Everyone has emotions. I like, I, didn't I talk about this recently? I think I talked about this on a live yesterday. Um, they're, they're, they're realizing that. They're realizing that and they're not resisting it anymore. But yeah, I feel like when this uh, masculine energy and feminine energy come in contact, that's gonna be up to the queen, by the way, is also what they're telling me. It's gonna be up to the queen if, they, if the queen wants to accept a little meeting or conversation or what have you but if you if you two actually meet in person a lot of hugs i really like that that's really sweet that's so freaking sweet a lot of hugs overall energy for the seven of wands in reverse we have the eight of cups in reverse piscean energy returning returning yeah majorly returning i feel like this person's also looking at their past quite a bit like like going from like that relationship, that relationship, that relationship, oh, that incident, that event, that tower moment, that argument, this argument, that thing that hurt me. It's like going through it and realizing that fear was a big part of it for them in whatever role they played. You know, we've all been through shit. We all make bad decisions sometimes. We all react in inappropriate ways occasionally, you know, through the course of our life. Um, you know, no one's, in, you know, 100% innocent at everything they've ever done in their life, right? And it's a, it's a matter of accepting that, working through it, healing it. This person's realizing any time that they were at fault for something, it was fear. It was fear. It was fear highlighting it, resistance of emotions highlighting those um, those events, okay? 
<laughs> oh, Taurus, this is an awesome reading, I just have to say. Now let's go into this energy here. Let's go into this energy. Like I said, there's a fear of jumping, a fear of going into some kind of forward movement. Let it, and again, this energy of letting the masculine energy lead this situation. I feel like this queen likes to lead. I'm sorry, I'm just picking up on something. I feel like this queen likes to lead. I feel like this queen likes a little bit of control too in their own right. Well, and there's fear. When there's fear, everyone likes to go into control mode for the most part for the most part, because it dissipates the fear when you have control over the situation, right? Um, and if you're a little Scorpio, yeah, be mindful of that. <laughs> if you're a little Scorpio, be mindful of that. Keep in mind, Taurus, uh, they are coming across, the, this um, mask energy is coming across in very heavy Scorpionic energy, which is the natural counterpart to Taurus, okay? So just know that. Um, but I feel like this, I'm feeling very alpha, very alpha energy. And that might be why this mask energy really likes this queen too. Yeah. I think that's also why the, this queen is kind of a turn on for this mask energy. It's like, they're very alpha in their own right. But, oh, okay. But it's not outrageous. That's interesting. It's not outrageous. Anyway. So there was some crazy stuff that's happened. I don't even want to touch it. Because I can tell for some of the queens, it's like ruminating in your head. So be, be mindful of that. Um, and I'm also getting that there's just this fear of when this masculine approaches, it's just going to be more of the same. But look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this feminine energies. Uh, I think you're going to have a very different person on your hands with someone who's been um, seeking enlightenment about themselves, being very introspective, and also someone who's going through a transformative rebirthing process who's really just missing you a lot. <laughs> missing you a lot, has a lot of emotion for you. So a lot of emotion for you, a lot of emotion for you. So just keep that in mind, okay? Even though you have this fear of moving ahead and moving forward. So I don't even wanna touch that energy, but let's look at this. Let's look at the Eight of Cups and see how this seems, how this is gonna be wrapping up. As the energy stands now, Let's see how this is going to be wrapping up. Keep in mind, these are just opportunities. To decide what you want to do with them. All right? You're the masters of your own life. I'm going to use Go the Tarot to clarify. Time about the Eight of Cups. Time about the Eight of Cups. Time about the Eight of Cups for Taurus regarding love from now until the 21st. Time with the Eight of Cups for Taurus regarding love from now until the 21st of August. Time with the Eight of Cups for Taurus regarding love from now until the 21st. Okay. Time with the Eight of Cups for Taurus regarding love. Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. We now have a true pair, a true pair on the board, Taurus. I love seeing that. However, you both are in reverse here. You both are in reverse. E. There's hurt here. Uh, I feel like both of you will be looking at the situation. Both of you are going to be kind of going over the details of this resistance energy that was experienced in the past. And, and it's kind of clear that both of you mm, had some stuff to work through. I, that's actually, yeah. Both of you had some stuff to work through. This masculine energy was learning to master their emotions, feel their emotions, face their emotions, face their fear. And now with analyzing what's happened, mm, someone's realizing they have some codependency issues that they have to work on. Not all of you. Calm down. But yeah, that there's just a lot of hurt here that needs to be addressed. There's a lot of hurt here that needs to be addressed. Okay, let's keep it going. Tell me about Eight of Cups. Tell me about Eight of Cups. Ooh. Wow, Seven of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, options. Options, okay. All right, Queens. Some of you guys do have some dating options for sure, but I'm also getting confusion. I'm also getting confusion because of this fear. Because of this fear to move forward, this fear to, to have peace with this person, to let this person in a little bit. Because to, to even just have a conversation like this or to come to some form of acceptance, there's got to be a little bit of letting in. And queens, you're afraid to do that. You're very mistrusting and it is causing confusion. 
it is causing some confusion here, okay? Let's see what else we have. Keep in mind, guys, fear comes from ego. And we all need our egos for survival, just in the 3D. I mean, we all need it. Your ego doesn't completely die. That's why I always call like um, ego deaths, ego healings, because we need our egos. But when we get hurt, when we get hurt, the ego has an opportunity to become overdeveloped. So keep that in mind, feminines, that your ego hasn't been overdeveloped in the midst of these events. Just, you know, be mindful, check yourself. Time about the Eight of Cups for Taurus. Time about the Eight of Cups for Taurus regarding love from now until August 21st. Time about the Eight of Cups for Taurus regarding love from now until August 21st. I was looking at a little bit of fantasy, but I actually don't think it's a bad thing. It feels a little sexy, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest, it feels a little sexy. Tell me about this Eight of Cups for Taurus regarding love. Okay, so I got three other cards out here. Let's see what we have. Okay, ouch. Page of Wands in reverse, Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, and the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy could also be Earth or a fire here. I almost feel like this is regarding the Queen's energy, that this approach, is really upsetting to the queen, really upsetting, and it's almost bringing up all the pain that's happened already. Yeah, Ugh. yeah, e. it's it's like bringing up all the pain, or, it's bringing up the pain, it's bringing up the pain, causing confusion and causing this queen to get more and more into their feelings and more and more into this fear. Again, queens, be mindful of this. It feels like a trigger, it feels a little bit like a trigger, but it's all because of this Knight of Pentacles energy. This is your masculine energy coming in here. And I love that it's a Knight of Pentacles. Is it slow? Sure. Yeah, gets a bad rap for being the slowest moving knight. But keep in mind, guys, we're coming into a lot of Virgo energy. A lot of Virgo energy. So for some of you, this approach might actually be by the end of August or in September. You know, it's energy. We all work through it differently. So just keep that in mind. Um, they're also coming in to provide abundance, to do things right. This is why I like the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is all about building shit in the right way so that it lo lo so it longs <laughs> what? lasts a long time, a long-standing foundation, which is also very Torian, but also why they move slow, to make sure shit is done right. So I like that. I like they're coming in as a Knight of uh, Pentacles. Overall energy, we do have Ten of Wands, Sag energy, but look, we have Justice underneath that. Libra energy. This is exactly what needs to happen. This is what's balancing the situation. The Ten of Wands, I feel like, is actually just the amount of work and really representing that you're at the end of the road with this. End of the road with this work. End of the road with this work. What's that about? The masculine energy. The masculine energy is hitting the end of their road with dealing with their fear issues. However, femin like feminine energies, like I said, you've got that fear now. You've got that fear now. And it is kind of burdening you a little bit. It's stressing you out. It's stressing you the hell out. It's clearly bringing up a lot of that shit from the past. And it's all in the head. It's the swords. It's the swords. It's all in the head, guys. It's a, I know, I, I'm not saying you're crazy. What I'm, what I'm saying is that it's bringing up the thoughts. It's bringing up the memories. And you're just like, I, uh, like it's just upsetting. It's upsetting you, queens. It's upsetting you and it's stressing you out. And you guys can rebalance the situation, but it's going to require work. And my feminine energies, I know you're not going to like to hear this, but it's also going to require an opportunity of earning trust back. Because you don't trust them. It's very clear. <laughs> it's very clear. You do not trust this masculine energy. You don't. You're holding on to this energy. You're holding on to this. So just keep that in mind, guys. For my feminine energies, keep that in mind with whatever you want from this situation. Just please keep that in mind, okay? Because they are approaching with good intentions after facing some serious issues, some serious emotional stuff, and really doing a lot of self-reflection, seeking that enlightenment about themselves and the situation and what they could do about it, how to improve themselves. They really have put in a lot of work here. These cards, these cards wouldn't be here if they hadn't, okay? And especially getting justice twice like that. I'm just saying, feminines, be mindful. Just be mindful, be aware of yourself. So let's pull some advice. 
Any advice for my Torians? You know, and it's funny because I, I said this in the full moon uh, video. Um, if you're struggling with, the, with these energies, might want to watch that video, it might help you. But there's an aspect happening. Oh, shoot, what is it? It's um, Mercury and Leo square. Oh, square Uranus, which is now retrograding in Taurus. So, okay, so we're already in this aspect. So with this energy, it's like people are realizing, oh, that and the fact that we're going from Leo energy to Virgo energy, along with the full moon in Aqua highlighting other people, right? We're going from this energy of loving on ourselves, being confident in ourselves, focusing on us, to starting to think about other people in our life, the collective, what have you. And people, some people, because it's Leo energy, right? So it's a, a spectrum of complete loyalty and generosity to the shadowy side of Leo, which is pri a little more prideful, a little bit more selfish, right? It's just a spectrum of energy. So some people are realizing that they've been too selfish and too taking of other people, too prideful, too egotistical. And others are realizing they've been on the other end, that they've been too generous and too giving. And so with those realizations there are amends being made here and we've been seeing that in the readings right people wanting to make amends like shit i should have done better i could have done better because we're all thinking about other people right well the other side of that spectrum is like oh i've done way too much for people i've done way too much i've done way too much so then there comes the approach of the apology of the making amends and so one side who really doesn't have a good doesn't have a typical history of doing that is trying to make amends, trying to apologize. And the other side is almost not wanting to accept it because they've been at that other side. They've been too generous. They've been too accepting and almost flipping them into being a little too prideful. So just be mindful of that. I feel like there's a little bit of that going on here. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, any advice for Taurus regarding this spread from now until August 21st? Any advice for Taurus regarding this spread from now until August 21st? Any advice for Taurus regarding this spread from now until August 21st? Any advice for Taurus regarding this spread from... Oh, Dove Spirit, BPs, 21, they're breaking down to a three. So I never feel this with this card, but just what they're telling me. I know some of you don't want to hear this. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. You both want peace of mind. First and foremost, you both want peace of mind in this situation. This is also a very divine card, by the way, a very high vibrational card. The advice is to be high vibrational about this. My feminine energies are triggered. Some of you are full on triggered. Some of you are just upset. Some of you are just confused. Some of you is just bringing up too many painful memories and it's making it hard to deal with the situation because it's stressing you out. Pick we're in that group, you probably will fall. But to be calm about the situation, to be grounded by the situation, to take the high road in the situation, be high vibrational about the situation. You both want peace in some fashion for yourselves. And to have peace for ourselves means we have to make peace with everything going on around us to some extent, okay? Not saying to not be upset, but you won't have peace of mind until you make peace with what has ever happened here. With your past, just like this king, right? Trying to make peace with their past and the role they played in whatever stuff that went down and also things that happened to them by other people. Like I said, queens, you remind this, this masculine of some people that were really awful to them. I'm not saying that's an excuse to do whatever the hell they did to you. Um, but there's that energy for both of you of trying to accept and find peace in whatever has happened in your lives to bring you to this point and to find peace with each other, okay? That's just the advice. That's just the advice. Do what you want, <laughs> okay? Any other advice for Taurus? Wow. Oh, I know someone had these cards. Shit. And I think it was cancer. I think it was cancer. I can't wait to show you guys. Any other advice for Taurus? Any other advice for Taurus? Oh my God, you guys are getting a lot of cards. Any other advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Okay. Oh my gosh, where to start? 
So we have antelope spirit. Life is speeding up with the energy of two, getting more of that ebb and flow, right? Things that have been resisted are now moving. Things that are were moving, now being resisted. It's that ebb and flow. Now there's flow. What did I say? Someone's about to take charge. Take charge here. And I feel like it's the masculine energy taking charge because they found peace with their issues and in their situations when people have done to them. By the way, oh, oh yeah, progression. I don't know why I saw this was as a three. Um, two to the three. So progression, making forward movement in their own life and make it, making forward movement towards my feminine energies to have peace, mental peace and state of mind between the two of you here, okay? You ready for the next two? I love it. I freaking love it. So I swear there was another sign that had these in their weeklies. I think it was cancer, but I could be mistaken. I could be mistaken. Could have been a fire sign. Rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. In otter spirit, you are never alone. 49 breaking down to a four and 42 breaking down to a six. Both equate to a cyclical energy when you add them together. You guys know about the otter card. Everyone's been getting this, which I've been loving. I love that everyone's been getting this card. This is basically that someone always has your back. Someone really cares about you, really loves you, really supports you, wants to support you. And with the rabbit energy, I'm actually getting very, very fertile energy. Very, very fertile energy here. This is a very fruitful um, connection, a very fruitful connection. If you can, uh, if you can work past the triggers, guys, if you can work past the triggers and work past anything that's still kind of holding you back, ebb and flow. You want the flow, you got to work through the ebb, right? You got to work through the ebb here. Um, also, this is a reminder that your guides are really there with you right now. Ooh, okay. For some of you, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background with your spirit team and with the divine. Trying to make things, okay, trying to get things to work out in your favor with that lucky, lucky time. Um, to work out in this connection, to work out in this connection. Now we have, oh, oh, oh wow, <clears throat> excuse me. Spider spirit, make your dreams real, 56, bring it down to 11, and bat spirit, a rebirth is assured with the energy of five change transformation a rebirth my feminine energies it's time to start believing that this masculine energy has changed to some, i'm going to say to some extent you're all in different situations and everyone works their energy differently some may be more changed than others okay so keep that in mind but spider spirit is a manifestation energy manifesting a rebirth here okay this masculine energy is making that shit happen. Almost feels very magician-like, actually. Um, really making this rebirth happen for themselves. And for my kings who are struggling with that, time to get to work. Time to start manifesting that change in your life. That kind of a change, emotional change, takes some time, takes a lot of hard work, and takes a lot of self-checking, okay? So for my masculine energies who are struggling with that, like I said, get to work. My feminine energies, it's time to start believing, it's time to start believing. All right, let's look at the under, uh, overall energy. <laughs> Believe in yourself. <laughs> Squirrel spirit, uh, 57, that brings down to a three. You got two threes here for your animals. Hold on, let me get this deck out of the way. I feel like I'm gonna knock it down. Okay, squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. This is having the confidence to get the work done, to get what it is you want, to have that conversation you want, to have that relationship you want, having the confidence and having that self-love. Having that self-love. Doing what's right for you as well as also they're telling me, do what's right for you. That goes for the masculine and the feminine energies here. Like I said, this is a general reading. I'm reading for thousands of people and everyone's in a bit of a different variation of this energy here and different place in this energy. It's time to start believing in yourself, in what's possible, also is what they're telling me, in what's possible and to do what's best for you regardless of whatever situation you're finding yourself in. That's, a, that's advice you could take home with you for anything, okay? Wow. Taurus, this is great. I loved this reading. I really freaking loved it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great week, Taurus. Namaste.